Hey everyone, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. Um, it's Wednesday today and normally I'm sitting here with uh, Guillaume. He left me alone, he's on vacation, so I um, felt quite lonely and I thought to myself I'll treat myself with some really nice strats. So that's exactly what I'll be doing today. You guys have been asking for alternatives to strats and you guys have been asking for like for example a GNL uh, Legacy uh, S type and all like other guitars anything else than a Fender. Uh, so I thought that's that's quite a good idea. Let's shoot out the American Strat which is currently called the Fender American Professional 2. Stratocaster um, and I have two really cool other guitars up against it. One is the Maybach Stradivari S61 which is a European version like a European S-type guitar and costs pretty much the same as the Professional 2 and obviously the GNL Fullerton Deluxe Legacy which is GNL's answer to the American Strat. I'm really looking forward to this one, uh, but before we start with the shootout, let's um, talk about the, the rig. I'll be using two amplifiers because it's awesome. <laughs> First of all, the, uh, on one side the Rev D20 head running into the Palmer 2x12 cabinet with uh, the Creamback 75 selection speakers, and on the other side of the mix you'll hear the Marshall Mini Plexi, which is the SB20 head running into a Harley Benton 2x12 cabinet with selection B. 30s, vintage 30s. Uh, for the drive sound I'll be using the J Rocket 45 or Calibre 45 uh, overdrive pedal which is really cool, it doesn't color the tone too much, it gives you that perfect nasty dirty Strat tone. Uh, Alright, let's start with the first round of the shootout which is going to be clean, I'll give you a couple of examples with all kinds of uh, pickup positions. Thank you. 
My impressions of these three awesome guitars, uh, well, first of all, they are very similar in a way, obviously, uh, but there were clear differences between them. Uh, well, obviously the feel, I'm going to be talking about that in a second, but first let's talk about the tone thing, something that we can share as an experience. I hope it comes through, but uh, it was really clear here in the room. The Fender was like right in the middle. Uh, the GNL had the thinnest sound and the Maybach had the most output and the most low end and warmth. Not sure how much of that gets captured through the mics and the editing and video uh, compression of YouTube, etc. But I think it's still going to be um, noticeable. It was, it was really crazy. At this volume, we're about 100 dB. Um, it's a big room, so it has space to fill it up. And those little differences are definitely very, very clearly hearable. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed playing all three of them. I think I liked the, uh, the American Professional 2's neck profile most uh, because it's set and because it's kind of on the thicker side, but it's, it's pretty like medium um, still. Um, it feels most like a D profile out of the three. Um, the GNL has a thinner neck, which is very comfortable. It's just a personal thing. I prefer a little rounder shoulders. Um, so that for that reason, I think I prefer the American Professional 2's neck, but both of those guitars are very similar, both satin and very easy to play. The Maybach is the most vintage spec out of the three. It has a really big neck, which uh, feels I'm not sure how vintage correct that is on 60s Strat type guitar necks, <coughs> S-type guitar necks. Um, I think those had mostly really thin necks, but I love thick necks, so I, I really enjoy this one. Um, this is the only glossy one though, and it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's nitro, it really feels like nitro. It also has some weather checking going on, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but um, it looks really sweet, it looks like a well, like a custom made guitar, custom shop type guitar. Um, and it does act like one too. So out of the three, I enjoyed the tone of this most, the uh, Fender's neck most, and the GNL was the lightest. So that would be my preference. It's, it's hard, to, hard to tell which is like the number one for me. I liked different things um, about all these uh, guitars. Let me know in the comments below. First of all, which was your favorite. And second of all, what I really wanna see in the comments, and this is, this is really important for me because I wanna do a second round of this video. Do you wanna see like a custom shop version of this? Or um, same question, like a really affordable S-type shootout. I think this would be super exciting to see how like custom shops uh, compare like all the S-type guitars and Fender custom shop, etc. Looking forward to seeing your comments below. Meet you down there and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.